Would you stay in a place where they tell you that you ain't shit? <laughs> you wouldn't, right? Well, women are pretty much acting that way towards men, but still wonder why men prefer not dealing with them. Any person with a bare minimum level of self-respect does not tolerate bad treatment from anybody, regardless of gender, race, or any other new age metrics. As a man, your responsibility is to surround yourself with people who value you. If a chick brings you down or calls you names just because you voice your opinion, let her go because there are billions of women out there. Staying single as a man looks like a better option than dealing with a hot woman with bad personality traits. The question is, why is she still single? Tons of men in her DM, but still single. Well, I got an answer for you. Let's get into it. Women, it's important that you hear this too. I think social media gives us a false sense of option. There may be men interested. What are they actually interested in? So yes, her DMs are full of men. How many of those men actually desire commitment? And of those men who actually desire commitment are men she would want to be committed to. That is the question. Unfortunately, ideally most of the men that they would want to be with are not really looking for a real commitment or they want a non-traditional relationship where you in a relationship and they not or an understanding maybe a situation ship or just a wham bam thank you man nothing serious so yes social media is cool but it makes people think they have way more options or higher value options than they actually do mm -mm -mm. She's just phrased it perfectly. A modern woman has lots of options, but the men who text her are interested in just hooking up. Or, as you guys already know, she is on social media to get some validation and hopefully land a Prince Charming, who probably isn't willing to holler at her on Instagram. In today's video, guys, you'll get to know why modern women tend to have lots of options and enjoy no commitment, and why men are opting for singlehood or just other types of women. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to another godless heathen for their persistence. He said, women to me, married men live longer than single men. Me? Yes, but more married men are willing to die. And that's the cold hard truth. People will push marriage and putting a ring on it on us men, but at what cost? Always consider your best options, guys, before you make a decision that'll affect the rest of your life and, more importantly, your happiness and freedom. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. She ain't that special is more than a cool self-development slash manosphere phrase. That phrase just represents how things are and it's not meant to turn you into a negative person or lose faith in humankind. It's just a wise form of protection. That's why as a man, it's not profitable to be monogamous unless the woman at hand can be a perfect wifey, which is nearly impossible most of the time. Hard times require good solutions and being overly nice or permissive is rather a problem and an L for you. It's about time men set strong boundaries and kick bad women to the curb. Take a look at this guy's example. Chris Brown is the one who said these hoes ain't loyal, but the funny thing is that he makes use of hoes on stage. As much as he's the kind of guy who would probably cheat on his girlfriend, many women still desire him. And it looks like being the nice guy doesn't pay off that much, and by the way, the good news is that her boyfriend left the relationship after her bad behavior. That's the smartest move he could make, so kudos to him. Anyway, you get the idea, no matter how hot a chick is, if she has bad behavior, 
behavior, she must be punished. And look, I mean that she will get exactly what she gives. Therefore, if she only shows her body on the internet and nothing else, the men chasing her will likely be interested in carnal stuff. It's not like these men would love to know her favorite color or how many babies she wants to have. Well, she might want to have babies when the wall comes through, but that's another discussion. Men are thankfully unplugging from the lies of society, including the idea that women are perfect and deserve top-tier men just for being pretty, putting on some makeup, and investing in a good outfit. Plus, hypergamy never stops operating. Therefore, a modern woman will hardly accept any guy who doesn't tick all her boxes, while she doesn't tick the most basic ones such as being feminine and wife material. Times have changed a lot, and the good old days of beautiful families look like a thing of the past. But then you just said you don't, you don't want to be with a hoe, but you're okay with just being with someone for sex. Yes. You've been out with guys that you had zero intention of having sex with, right? Yes, absolutely. Do you have guys in a friend zone? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yep. Would it be fair to say that you have these guys in the friend zone and you go on these dates because you enjoy maybe certain privileges that come your way as a woman? Free dates, entertainment, attention, being validated, etc. You enjoy the benefit of most of the time not paying the bill. I enjoy, yeah. Okay. I enjoy being treated like a lady a queen. should okay. be treated. Fantastic. So on one side, you have guys that you finesse for time, resources, etc. Now, are there other guys that you find sexually attractive that you deal with? I have, yes. yes. Just yes. like you have guys in the friend zone category, and then you have guys that you fuck. Men are the same way. We have girls that we sex zone, and then girls we commit to. So men are the same way. It's just that who we pick to commit to versus who we pick to have casual sex with are different just like who you friend zone and who you <laughs> have sex with. Look, I haven't shown this clip to promote male promiscuity or legitimize men who use women for intimacy. None of that. As I said, times have changed a lot and committing to a woman might be a risky move because women these days get lots of free attention and validation. Therefore, if you happen to hang out with a girl and engage in an argument, which is by the way a waste of your time, she can easily go to her safety net, aka Instagram, social circle, contacts, exes, etc. to get what she is not getting from you. And speaking of arguments, take a look at this. Okay, if you had kids, hypothetically, and your kid came up to you and said, um, you know, mom, I don't like this, blah, 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 and argues with you, would you sit there and argue with your kid? Of course not. You would just be like, no, like, this is how it is, whatever, right? That's how men have to be with women. <laughs> That's how you do it? Like their kids. Yeah, we don't argue with y'all. That's children. Because <laughs> if I argue with you, that puts me on your level. Yeah. And women, men are supposed to be leaders and the dominance in their relationship. But you so. have never called a woman names in your life, your whole oh, of life? Of course, of course. I've, I've made that stupid mistake and argued with a woman. Of course, plenty of times. Okay. But nowadays, the, the best way to move with girls is you don't argue with them. You just tell them, all right, we'll leave. Congratulations. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> arguing with women is not an intelligent move. Well, Unless it's on the podcast. Wait, but, but a girl you're in a relationship with, it's what well, you could do. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Does that ring a bell? I'm pretty sure it does. As a man, you might be a fantastic person, a 10 out of 10 kind of guy, husband material and tick all the boxes. However, modern women are not okay with that and always want more, which most of the time has to do with putting you through shit tests that drain your time and energy. These days, men are becoming more ruthless and don't accept breadcrumbs. And in some cases, despite loving a girl so much, if she acts stupid, they'd rather look for someone else and not deal with petty arguments about a toilet seat up. All in all, modern women have easy access to many men who desire them in bed, but don't want to put up with arguments and shit tests. Plus, if a smart man happens to be in a relationship and the woman wants him to make concessions, he'll just say, cool, if you don't like who I am as of now, just leave. Men are increasingly sick and tired of playing Captain save -a and treating women as if they were angelic beings with no flaws. The surge of MGTOW, monk mode, lone wolves, and even passport bros is nothing but the logical reaction to women who want the best, but still act like 304s or overall non-wife slash dating material. Speaking of passport bros and men with standards, take a look at what modern women say about men who prefer quote unquote submissive, uneducated women over strong and independent Western women with college degrees. There are actually women who are now calling men predators if they want to date a woman from a different country. In other cultures, a lot of women are more submissive. Yeah, they're pervy. Men are traveling overseas to, to countries that have less money and less education. It's because they want a woman who is dependent on foreign girls because you can't handle women that's why 
And this whole thing is so offensive and ignorant because basically what they're saying is that if a woman is not from the US and she's not woke, then she is uneducated, she doesn't have opinions of her own, and she can't be outspoken, and that's why men go for her. So the Western women think they are superior because they are empowered and awake, right? It's the women from other countries who are educated and can be just as outspoken and have opinions and actually can still look normal, which a lot of people here in the US seem to struggle with. No, just no. This has nothing to do with men not being able to handle them. It's just that men are not willing to play any mind games or deal with manipulation tactics. Argumentative women? No thanks. And by the way, is a modern woman with a degree in gender studies more educated or better wife material than a foreign woman who has family values and doesn't play mind games? And another question, what if the man at hand wants to have bilingual kids? Oh, I know, a man can't have standards because that's discrimination, but a woman can because that's her particular long ass list of preferences. F off. Let these modern women enjoy their eco chambers while you enjoy a lifestyle that keeps you out of those energy draining problems. Stay strong guys, as always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn, what do you think? What other reasons explain the rise of single women? Have any of their red flags made you escape the dating scene? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe button ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video guys, till next time.